is the review of recovery of an MMO junkie. Like, comment, and subscribe. For the first time since graduating high school, 30-year-old Morocco Mocha is unemployed and she couldn't be happier. Having quit her longtime standing job over 11 years, Morocco quickly turns to online gaming to pass her now pleadful free time, ridding herself as the handsome and dashy male here, Hayashi, in the MMO Fruit Deer Mirror. With the per pesky social obligation in the real world out of the way, she is blissfully dives headfirst into the realm of the game, where she's probably meets the kind adorable healer, Lily. Befriending each other almost instantly, the two became inseparable, just as Morocco herself becomes more and more engrossed in her new life as Harashi. Eventually, Morocco adopts her reclusive lifestyle in its entirely, venturing out from the safety of her partner only when necessary. Meanwhile, unspeakable to Morocco, a 28-year-old corporate worker named Yuta Sakari has longed onto Fruit Demur from the other side of town coincidentally bumping into each other at the convenience store one night. Both write off their meeting as no more than just an awkward encounter with a stranger. However, fate has more in store for them than they think. This anime has about 10 episodes, premiered October 10th, 2017, December 12th, 2017. It does have a sequel. It is based off a web manga series. It is comedy, game, and romance. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode, and this is rated PG-13. One thing that I like about this anime, it focuses on, well, real life scenario and also now because like during the pandemic a lot of us kind of relaxed and ventured into video games which is a nice stress reliever for everything that's going on in the world and i will say this anime kind of fits the thing just minus the pandemic and i think seeing these two characters from different backgrounds and portraying characters of the opposite gender thing is a real nice way to see character development and one thing that i like about it because japan with japanese anime they do a lot of, like net games their version of like online gaming especially of this one I think it's not like all the stereotypical like jokes and everything else that put us out. I think when you have a person like just, like quit a job or like leave or like start new, like it's a kind of a, like a rebirth in a sense. And it's kind of interesting how this person, like the main character, goes from teaching to revert herself into a new reality while escaping reality. And she does games to do to do it. And you know, I think that's, that's kind of what we are dealing with now. I think. Considering the chance like she doesn't have any freedom for long and you know she slowly like got consuming video games. As long as you take care of yourself, like, that's one way to like get a new hobby, you know, as long as you're taking care of yourself. And don't let sink too in deep in there where you can't escape from. But I think in general hindsight where these two people meet on online game is kind of a sweet of storytelling. I feel like each of the two characters, they show a different personality and trait just by having like, you know, a job or friends, you know, they're actually similar than they tend to notice and like this anime without giving too much away like they're both portraying like different like online characters of different genres and they just get sucked in with this new reality because they're tired of their own outside reality i think that's very interesting how the story like progresses throughout everything and i feel like you see them grow and, and see them develop into their own new beings because of the online gaming and i feel like it's very interesting and very sweet you know compared to other online games like twitter online the spinoff of that and like hacks ruth another like online gaming uh like an another anime it's like uh i didn't want to get hurt so i maxed out my my defense which is another anime based on game but they all take a different type of story and this one builds the relationship between these two people who come from different backgrounds different responsibilities different life studies that's going on and they show the progression of each of the, the characters that they play by this role-playing game in the online gaming background and the storyline is very interesting because you have these two characters who rely on each other along with the supporting cast as they grow as individuals with their online persona and each other as they meet outside of the online game and i think that's a good way of care development between these two and see that i should grow each and every episode i thought was very stunning um, even though sometimes the online game is not entirely was the main focus it does like shift between half between the virtual world and reality i think that's a good progression of that the art was something to get used to it was very simple, very pleasant, but if you're not used to that thing, sometimes you're more like, oh, it's going to be online games, the color palette should be more catchy and more outgoing. But that wasn't the case here, which I, I really appreciate it. And it was very simple, and I think they did a good job. And the OP and sounds were, like, very good. I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, check out the sequel, because there is a sequel to this. And also, it's based off of a web manga series, so if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. I think it's interesting how, like... The online gaming community like is very more prevalent. It's growing since the pandemic has started. I think that's something 
it's anime shows just minus the pandemic and you just see them grow like into their self like opening up more like trying new things and venturing out and you know like online games is a way to bond with friends since you really can't see anyone now i think that's a way to build friendship you know as long as you're careful i think this anime does it seeing these two people grow and grow out of their shell which i think is the like the overall message that they're trying to show here and you know i think it's just something very sweet and very like nostalgic about like online gaming like growing up as a kid you always did online gaming whether it be in a classroom or with friends something you can easily bond over and like help grow your character whether that be online character or like in person like you tend to well become a new person basically and discover things that you never knew like you like that you liked and i think that's one way to bond over friendships when i read back this type of normalcy you could always bond over to, like online games that you play with your friends or whatever you may do in your free time because it's almost summer vacation so you have a lot of time on your hands to either play some games you haven't or you know watch some gameplay depending on what you do and how you spend your free time as long as you have fun doing it i think this anime shows just that and just check it out for yourself and let me know what you think because if you enjoy online gaming then you will enjoy this anime Thanks for tuning this anime review. Give this big video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to comment down below in the comment section what anime you want me to review next or any suggestions that you may have. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more contents and more videos in the future. See you soon. Bye!